Hello guys, this is RJB here with episode 8 of All The Mods 8. Today, we make power with melons. Okay guys, as I said, we're going to be making power with melons. So, uh, as I talked about last episode, that's why these melons are here. And you might peek uh, some machines up there. So, what we're going to be doing is uh, turning the melons into ethylene. But uh, to get started this episode real quick, I got some things in my inventory. So what I want to do is make a that. Then I think I could just oh no, hold up. Oh, I know exactly what I'm doing. And then that, and now boom, and now boom, boom, and now boom. Somewhere, where can it go? What is this? Ross necklace. Get that out of here. Ah, right, where does it go? Right, I just got to find out where it goes. Oh, there it is. All right, we'll scroll back up. We'll scroll back up. Easy. All right, so now we have, I guess that adds a heart. Just one heart. Um, To make more of those, we need more bones. Of the, the necrotic bones or whatever they are. The the black ones. And we don't have that many of those. I probably could craft them or whatever, but I'm not really worried about it right now. Um, So there's that. Now, in between episodes, I uh, saw that there was an advancement right here to make a golden furnace. So I did. And, uh... We completed a lot because all these apparently were already done. They just couldn't claim them because the furnace wasn't done. So I just figured I'd wait. Uh, cool. Until I was on here. Is it all just going to give me XP? Ooh, an ancient debris. Give me all the stuff. Give me all the stuff. All right. So now we're actually up to the teleport pad. But don't worry about that. We'll do that later. All right. So let me just... Put this stuff in a chest somewhere. Where can we put it? Just temporarily. We don't have to sort. Oh, the other thing that, that made me think of. I upgraded this to advanced. So that's cool. Because I just thought of it. Because there's an advanced one right there. Um, That gave me some neat stuff. We'll sort that later. Anyway, so I got m almost all the stuff that I think we'll need. Maybe all of it, hopefully. So basically what you got to do. Is you got to take melons. They're, they're going to come out as melons like that. We'll put them through a sawmill to get nine. And then we'll take those and put them through a crusher to get the biofuel. And then we'll take that. And wait, what do we do next? We put that in a reaction chamber with some water and some hydrogen, I guess, to get ethylene, which then goes into a uh, this, the gas burning generator. Easy clap. All right. So uh, real quick, I'm going to set up a little example of this in a test world, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys so you guys have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, so this is an example in a creative world. So we have melons growing in here, and then they go into a sawmill, get turned into melon slices. Then they go into a crusher and get turned into biofuel. Then they go into the reaction chamber with hydrogen and water, which we can get from hydrogen from this. So just have hydrogen getting uh, separated by electrical separator. And it can go in there. And then you have water. We just doing the pump with the create thing. All right. So then you're going to have a secondary product of substrate, which is useful later on for anyone who knows. Uh, anyway, then you have that going into this. And then there you are. So now what we have done is we have this mining grass. And as you can see, it's keeping up power usage wise. So that's how much power this makes. Um, for example, if we get a like a battery. Uh, which one do we have? We have the hardened one and we just slap that bad boy in there. Watch this See how it's going up super fast, but like this is not losing any power So uh, it makes a lot of power is what I'm trying to say. So that's what we're gonna be setting up basically um, We already have one of these set up that is dumping the hydrogen currently I think we're gonna try to pull the hydrogen from that. I think I'm gonna set this up underground Anyway, that's what we're gonna do uh, and I'll see you when we're back in our regular world. Okay guys, now that I uh, showed you that in the creative world, um, I'm back in the, the main world. Um, real quick, I just wanna say I'm charging my battery. Uh, we did upgrade our jetpack all the way to platinum. Um, I believe I did that after I recorded last, last segment. I do not remember. Honestly, these are recorded kind of all over the place because I have you know a work schedule and stuff. But uh, anyway, so I've done that. Um, and then I went down here and I went ahead and dug out our room. We're just going to got our power ran, you know. We're just going to, you know, take the hydrogen up out of here. Take the water up out of there. I got, uh, I think I put the stuff in here. Got this stuff. But uh, 
first we gotta craft the things, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I went ahead and got the lava buckets because one of these machines needs lava. All right, sawmill. Boom. Oh, we gotta be in the craft table. Sawmill. Crafted. Let's go. Achievement get. Too easy. Crusher. Crafted. Let's go. That's what needed the lava buckets. Cool. This thing. Oh, uh, enrichment chamber. Easy. Let's go. I went ahead and made these steel casings as well, so this is just fly through this. What is this? Give me that. Boom. Easy. Uh, what are these? Give me this. What do we need? Two of these. We're just getting all kinds of enchantment, advancements and stuff. I said enchantment, so that definitely wasn't the right word. And then... I, that's what it looks like when I go ahead and prepare stuff, guys. Alright. So now we can run down here real quick. Also, guys, sound off the below. Do you rather have, like, longer, like, 30-minute episodes or shorter... Like 15, 20 minute episodes. All right, so let's do the sawmill. The furthest away from the thing that it needs. Oh, we need to go get those pipes. Yeah, just let me know about that. Uh, We can go sleep real quick. We might just move our bed back since we're not working in the house right now. Uh, I guess we can give an update on the house while we're over here. Um, Those are the first three floors laid out, I guess. Right there is just where they would be. So that's pretty wicked. I haven't done literally anything else. But, oh, we should have slept in it first. Uh, okay, is this tree tall enough for those mobs down there not to count? Yes, it is. All right, we'll sleep in this, and then we'll fly away real quick. All right. And then, yo, this jetpack flies fast. Holy. This is the uh, platinum tier, which is, like, the same tier as diamond, so one below emerald. And then the emerald one's the one you make a creative jetpack with. Uh, if that's something that you end up doing, which we probably will, considering that's our goal. Anyway, all right. So now we need to take the item pipes. Boop, boop, boop. So we can go, we'll just go like this. And I do not believe it will need an upgrade, but we'll see whenever we see. All right, and we can output this way. And that goes into the crusher. Which can receive from that side. Now put that side. All right. Um. So we could take this. Do that. Whoa. That is annoying sound. We'll probably put muffling upgrades on this, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um. Yeah, we might have to worry about it. That is super loud. Anyway. Um. What do we need now? We need this. So this is going to need um, water, those things. Okay, so we could probably put it there. Auto eject on. I forgot to turn this auto eject on. Then we just set this to receive items from that side. And now for fluids, so water can come in the top. And gases can come in the... That side's fine. So now we can get this. Hydrogen? Alright, cool. We can get these. We might need to make more. Nope. Looks like we have exactly the right amount. Um, that might take a while to pump over here. I don't know. And so that should start making our stuff. It, there it goes. And there we are. And now we just go down here. Put that we'll go to items, auto eject, output the bottom. There those are. Um, so these are actually I talked I said they'd be useful later on. So uh, what you can do with these is make this the pellets, which you can then make this and you can make all this kind of stuff with it. Uh, the mech suit and stuff. Uh, that'll be later on, but you know it's cool that we're making them already. Um, so, and then we just take the gas burning generator and put it, uh, we'll worry about that in just a second. Um, real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go clean out our inventory and I'm actually going to make these muffling upgrades. So they look like this. You can put, uh, I believe four in each machine. So it's just steel dust in this stuff, but I'm going to make them because that is an annoying noise so i'm gonna do that real quick and then i'll be right back okay i'm back um i went ahead and made muffling upgrades for all these machines so they all got them in here uh right there 
So all four of those. Um, one thing I also noticed while I was off, I, we had some quests that I could complete. Uh, so we had the, this one for doing that, that one for making the pressurized chamber. Uh, then we had basic power. So there's a whole quest telling us how to do this, and I didn't even know that. Uh, but that's cool. So, you know, there's a whole quest for this process. And then we also completed this. I made an advanced pipe filter upgrade because I wanted to filter this pipe. Uh, blacklist melon seeds because I don't want those coming out and going into there. So we did that. Also, I placed this down. Um, so this would go ahead and have some ethylene coming out of it. So it didn't fill up. Um, as you can see, we're running out of power though. So what we got to do and place this down and uh, it already filled up with power. So that's cool. Um, doo -doo. What I, gonna need? I wanna actually make something, hold up. Let's go basic. I don't remember what the pipes are called. I wanna make these universal cables, steel and redstone dust. Do I have any steel? Probably not, but we can make some real quick. And... Do, 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 do. Oh, that's the wrong thing. All right. Do I have any still in here? No. Okay, well, we'll make this real quick. Um, uh, we'll slap that in there. So what I want to do is, I, I'm going to, um, I reckon I'm going to go away because we're going to need a bunch of pipes. But uh, I think I'm going to replace all the energy pipes with uh, the ones from Mechanism, the energy pipes from that. Because when I was testing in my testing world, for some reason, the, the energy pipe from pipes were having like a weird issue in terms of transporting power correctly and stuff. Even when I use like upgrades and stuff, it seemed like, but then when I switched it to uh, the Mechanism ones, it was fine. So I'm just gonna do the Mechanism ones. So, uh, I totally forgot that about that or I would have done it between the last two cuts. But uh, so I'm going to do that. Um, this made power. So that's cool. Uh, and then we'll come back once I have those mechanism pipes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and change out all the pipes probably. So except for the ones from the uh, things up there, because those pipes up there are not going to be making enough power to uh, need to have this. And then I'm also going to take this energy cell back. Um, get these. Uh, do I not have any? What do I do with them? So we're gonna uh -oh, leave that up there how it is and leave that energy cell there for that and we'll put this energy cell um down there with the power going into it from that so uh i'm gonna go do all that stuff real quick go ahead and replace all these pipes from there all the way down there and stuff and uh then i'll be back okay guys i'm back and i got all the cables changed over of course not those because i said i wasn't gonna change those um i got them changed over down here so while I was doing that, I went ahead and put the cell down. It was completely empty and now it's full and uh, our battery, we completely charged it and stuff. Um, this thing makes ridiculous amounts of power from what I've seen so far. But um, what I want to do with it, just take and run the power over here like this. Um, I believe this is the front. Cool. Um, you can just go in here, go energy. That won't connect cool i just don't i don't think it matters but i just don't don't like it doing that um the other thing i did is i went ahead and cleaned all that stuff that we had in our backpack out but um uh the last thing i need to make us uh, the muffling upgrades for is this now i do know that we have this the muffler and you can muffle nearby sounds but since there's a thing in the mod that does it uh that i'm just gonna use that but uh so i'll make mufflers for that but um now everything should have power and we're starting to form a backlog already. Um, we already got 183 of those. Um, this seems to be filling up. Uh, it's not draining. We're not really using power for anything right now anyway, but you know. Um, and now what we can do is sleep. But uh, what I was going to say is I can run one of these cables. I should have enough to the digital miner. And it should be able to run indefinitely. Now, it doesn't have speed upgrades or anything. So it's not going to be like super fast or anything but instead of having to like fill up like it is doing right now should just stay full so uh i'm gonna do that quick um let's see let's go too deep into the ground like this and we'll just dig over here to where our little room is and then we'll cover it back up uh 
So we should be able to come off of that. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's the wrong thing. We'll just do it like that. Sure, that's fine. I don't know how high these things can step, but uh, okay, I was wrong. I do not have enough. Um, let's see. How many more do we need? Like one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay. So we'll just let this make two. D is a one. Uh, we're gonna need a redstone dust for that. Also, this chest is almost oh, wrong chest. This chest is almost full of like resources and stuff. And you can see this one is. So probably pretty soon we're gonna have to start with um getting like a uh, storage stuff going, like uh, applied energistic. But uh, I think we're good to do that now since we've got the power figured out. And we can also get to speeding up some of these machines. That probably wouldn't hurt. But uh, I get this digital miner going for now. Oop, not that. And then we'll go check our power draw here in a second. But yeah, that should basically keep this up all the way up. Uh, I don't know why it's looking like that, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe it needs to be a higher tier pipe. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, it's filling up fast at least. So that's cool. It's also silk touching, so it's using a lot of power. So that might be why it looks like that, because I don't think these pipes can transfer that much. They can transfer 3.2k. How much does this need? Um... So we turn silk touch off. If I don't want that like that. I want it silk touching. So we'll just leave it be. Leave it be. Alright, let's put some stuff up. We can even put these up because we're done with them. So now we'll just go down here and check. And this should be A-OK. -okay. That's empty. So we're probably going to start burning through our stuff now, but that's okay. Um, that's kind of why we made it. So, also I have both these set to dumping excess. That way this will stay full and this will stay full. Like that. That way, because you know, that thing up there will still need oxygen from time to time. But, there we are with that. That is all of that done. Um, I'm going to go away for a little bit and watch this and see if that, like, starts draining itself. Or if it can self-sustain itself while running that digital miner. Because that thing is using, like, the whole 20k, I guess. Since it's doing what it's doing. But uh, I'm going to do that, monitor it real quick, and then I'll come back and I'll uh, tell you guys what I found out. All right, guys, I'm back for a quick update real quick. Uh, a quick update real quick. Out of way. Anyway, um, I upgraded this from advanced to elite. Uh, it's not that hard to do, uh, you know, and uh, the reason I did that is because it, the advanced one, outputs the power needed for the basic cables, basically. So this one outputs the power needed for these cables. That's kind of how it is. Um, not exactly, but you know what I mean. So this one is outputting. Those cables can carry like 25. The advanced one only outputs like 6 point something K. So this one can output the uh, 25 that those cables can carry. It's weird, but you know, I guess it makes sense that the cube needs to be a higher tier than the cables. I don't know. Anyway, so I did that. And the reason I did that is because, as you guys know, this thing is using 20K, which is more than 6.4. Oh my, went high up there. So now that I have upgraded the cube, it's, you know, getting a constant power. is not going up and down no more. And as you can see, there goes the diamond. And then there goes the next door. So it's going decently quick now. Um, we're only down to 621. So that's good. Uh, mind you, that doesn't have any speed upgrades or anything. It would be using way more power and stuff. So I got all these cables. They're all to the advanced tier. Um, I haven't sat here long enough to know if this is able to keep up or not. Um, I'm unaware of how much is in these co cables. Because obviously, they're saying empty and this is not going down. It's using what's in these cables. But it's constantly burning at around 1.73 millibuckets a tick is what it says. It's moving very fast. And it's producing 19, about 19K a tick. So that's keeping us full on power. Um, like I said, I'm just going to watch this. This will probably finish um, rather soon. I mean, not not terribly soon, but, you know, it's it just went down 11 while we were sitting here watching it, 12. So, uh. I'm going to go away. I'm going to let this get down to, like, probably around 300 unless, you know, I'm not paying attention and it finishes. And uh, I want to make sure that I don't let it finish, though, because I want to see if this is keeping up. I'm not sure if it is or not. But, uh, obviously, we won't be running a digital miner the whole time. So, having the 20K or what, I don't even know how much this can produce. How, how much ever that could produce, it would be nice having that, especially since we're about to 
pretty soon go ahead and make storage system and stuff. But uh, I'm going to go away again. Uh, sit here and watch this, see what it does. And uh, I'll come back and I'll update you guys on it. Okay, guys. Um, the digital miner is down to around 360. Um, so that's about halfway from where it was earlier when we checked. And I have confirmed that this thing, in fact, is not keeping up when it's running uh, constantly like it is right now. So we might have to speed these machines up or something like that. Um, the hydrogen water is keeping up for right now. And the biofuel is keeping up, uh, I believe. Can neither confirm or not. But uh, the ethylene is not keeping up. So we might have to speed this thing up. or But if we speed this up, then we might be not keeping up on the water and stuff. So I have to test it out or whatever. But um, I don't plan on being always constantly running a digital miner that's using 20,000 RF a tick. So we might be good in terms of it for now. Um, I'm not really worried about it. Also, this thing will be able to relocate this and this makes 200. And honestly, that'd probably be enough for our applied energistic system. Plus we still have these up here. So, you know, that's good. God, you fly so fast with this jetpack. Um, this jetpack also provides basically creative flight nearby. I mean, you go down very slowly as you can see, but you know, it's almost the highest tier. Emerald's the highest tier. Uh, other than the creative but uh so that's a little update on that but um that's basically all i wanted to do this episode so we got our melons to power going um that's pretty good uh the goal for uh the goal that we had when we were the, for our early game to get to this teleporter pad so we could go to the dimension we were basically at that i need to find an ender pearl i believe but uh so next episode we might work out on banging this stuff out or we might start on our uh, storage system but uh that's basically the general gist of what we'll be doing over the next few episodes i would love to move our digital miner setup to the uh mining dimension so just move all this stuff even though it'll be going slow again you know that don't matter too much that way we can uh digitally mine there and then we can just chunk load with this so these are like chunk loaded or whatever 39 days and 22 hours ago that i chunk loaded all this cool anyway so uh like i said we got our melon power for this episode um I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, whoop, wrong button. Um, we're going to, like I said, come back next episode. Hopefully either start on the storage or going to the mining dimension. But uh, sound off in the comments. Any suggestions, tips, tricks, whatever you got going on. Also, remember to comment whether you like the uh, shorter, like 15, 20 minute episodes. Or you want like longer, like 35, 30, 35, 40 minute episodes. And... One last thing is, would you guys be interested in me streaming the behind the scenes stuff? Because there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. I mean, we're on day... Pause. Pause. Where does it say that, bro? There's too many things up here. Oh, no. I was just going to tell you real quick. Nah, I don't even know. Yep. You guys are probably like, oh, I see the day, dude. It's right there. Um... This is embarrassing. Where is the day count? I have no idea. No idea where the day count is. All right, we'll just check this then. We'll check this. So we played time play. We played 8.79 days. Obviously, we haven't recorded that much. Anyway, so would you be interested in seeing the behind the scenes? Uh, it's a long intro. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And until next episode, take it easy.